Have you ever been on a flight and noticed a broken tray table or maybe your seat recliner doesn't work and you wonder, just how old is this airplane? According to CNN, most commercial planes are older than 10 years old. As of 2020, of the big four names in commercial aviation in the United States, which includes American, Delta, United, and Southwest, United has the oldest fleet of airplanes averaging about 16 years old. General aviation aircraft are even older at about 30 years old. So when does your average wear and tear become too much for a commercial airplane and how old is too old to fly? Planes are designed to have a service life of a few decades and data from Statista shows that planes are typically retired after about 25 years on average. But different aspects of an aircraft age at different rates and even if you're traveling on an older plane, not all the equipment and instruments on board are as old as you might think. For example, the plane's fuselage may be 20 years old, but its engines could actually be brand new. According to Simple Flying, some small Douglas DC-3s are still flying commercially at about 80 years old. So even planes that are relatively old are still considered airworthy and able to fly. When determining if an aircraft is no longer airworthy, pressurization cycles and hours flown are more significant than the actual age of the aircraft. One cycle occurs when the airplane becomes pressurized for high altitude cruising after takeoff and then depressurized as it descends for landing. We discussed how cabin pressure works in a previous video, but in short, pressurizing the cabin allows you to breathe on the plane while cruising at high altitudes. These cycles of pressure and hours flown can stress the metal fuselage and wings causing metal fatigue. The fuselage must expand during takeoff and at cruising altitudes, then contract when it returns to the ground. Over time, cracks can develop along the fasteners and rivets that connect the metal plates of the fuselage. Boeing has said that 737s can withstand between 75,000 and 100,000 pressurization cycles and up to 125,000 hours of flight depending on the model. A Boeing 737-800, the most commonly flown plane, is projected to survive up to 100,000 cycles. As a thought experiment, on American Airlines they fly about three times a day according to Air Nav Radar Box data. Without considering the flight hours, a 737-800 could last up to around 90 years, roughly calculated. Just looking at flight hours at an average of 2.6 hour lengths three times a day, the 737-800 would last around 44 years. Another commonly flown aircraft, the Airbus A320-200, has a limit of 48,000 cycles and 60,000 flight hours. Larger planes meant for long international flights accumulate more time in the air and fewer pressure cycles. The larger Boeing 747 can handle 35,000 cycles and 165,000 hours of flight. A smaller plane that goes through multiple cycles a day may have a shorter lifetime than a larger plane with longer flight hours. Once a plane approaches the FAA cycle or hour limitation, it goes under evaluation and an airline could decide to keep using it if they can maintain its airworthiness standard. Though repairs may get expensive or the plane may not be as fuel efficient as it once was, so the choice to keep an aircraft is usually a financial one. When airlines decide to retire an aircraft, it can be sold or sent to an aircraft graveyard where old airplanes are stored in the desert. But of course, airplanes are routinely inspected for metal fatigue, among other things, so you really don't have to worry about being on an airplane that is too old, aside from the seat might not recline or the tray table may be a little wonky.